if you if you're too focused on the destination right you sort of miss out on the journey and as everyone knows it's all about the journey not the destination right so the destination is fun when you reach there is cool but what do you do when you reach a goal what do you do when you reach your destination you typically just decide cool and then you set a new goal you decide for a new destination right so what is it really about then is it about the destination and the goal or is it about the journey of getting there hey guys i'm at the cabin really enjoying myself these days here writing a new ebook about running stay tuned um i want to talk about my motivation to run and train like why do I do it? What's my drive? What's my purpose uh, as a runner? And why I think you should consider a similar approach maybe uh, and why it's good. So let's get into it. So, you know, I've always done some running. I used to run as a kid. My dad brought me along to some races to, to run with him and also to watch him run longer races. And, you know, I ran at school and now and then I would go for a jog, etc. But it was not until my mid-twenties that I started discovering health and healthy living and, and actually started sort of doing some exercise again after a little bit of a hiatus. I used to do Taekwondo uh, as, a, as a teenager. I have a black belt and I used to compete in uh, national competitions and I won sometimes too. Uh, but uh, that was that was taekwondo then I had a hiatus and then I started running again for health and, and fitness and it was not until I was probably 30 which is five years ago that I started thinking hmm what if I just really give it everything I've got you know what if I just go all in on the running uh, how good can I get how far can I come and well the rest is history the, the last five years I've had a lot of ups and downs a lot of opposition uh, from injuries and issues and uh, so I've only been able to have a few years really of good training and I'm still very early in my development but I'm very driven okay I have I have big lofty goals right so when I talk about my goals I often talk about things like yeah I want to run sub three hour marathon that's a more immediate short-term goal now uh, I want to run uh, really sub 230 right I want to actually perform at a competitive level I would like to win I want to win the Olympics oh my god I want to win everything well probably not gonna win the Olympics right I start a little bit late for that and very few people ever do and uh, I do dream of winning races though and competing but here's the thing my main drive is really just to get as good as I can get okay to take it as far as I can you know and at a certain point my age of course is gonna start basically limiting it's probably already limiting a little bit maybe not well I'm 35 so I'm just at the crossover point perhaps at which it's starting to become an issue with age right but still I would I would assume for another 10 years I'll be able to crush and my PBs and get better and better and better until I start to butt up against maybe a little bit of an age challenge but maybe with ultra marathons it's uh, you could go on for longer anyway here's my point okay I'm actually even though I talk about the goals because they're very clear like you know I want to run this time for the marathon I want to win this time for whatever distance I want to I want to win races etc I would like to do that none of those things really matter that much because my main motivation and drive actually comes from the process I'm process driven okay and that's what I'm trying I'm gonna try and convince you to become as well goals are great because they help us have direction and we can focus on goals and we can um, it gives a structure okay and it's very motivating to see yourself improving and reaching your goals and goals don't have to be just time goals can also be uh, goals like I want to improve my cadence right your step rate or I want to get better at track running or I want to get better at hill running downhill running um, or it could be things like I want to get better at planning I want to plan my training week better so there you know there's always room for improvement and measuring that and reaching your goals see like 
I reached that goal. I managed to get better at what I tried to get better at. That's very satisfying and, 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 and rewarding. But if you get too focused on only the goals, if, you, if you're too focused on the destination, right, you sort of miss out on the journey. And as everyone knows, it's all about the journey, not the destination, right? So the destination is fun when you reach there is cool. But what do you do when you reach a goal? What do you do when you reach your destination? You typically just decide cool and then you set a new goal you decide for a new destination right so what is it really about then is it about the destination and the goal or is it about the journey of getting there i think it's about the journey and when i hear elite runners top performance runners um, there's a few famous brothers in norway you probably heard about them performing at the elite level in middle and sometimes long distance races and they talk about how they hate training and they hate uh, running and they really just they're just doing it to be best they just want to win 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 for me that's kind of a weak attitude and it's kind of a sad attitude i find because if you're just it's like an ego thing it's like why are you so focused on just winning what about the actual process of getting there? Shouldn't you also enjoy? If you don't enjoy the process, it's not worth the outcome, I think. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but I, that's the way I see it anyway. I, I'm not saying we shouldn't have goals and, and strive for better outcomes and get better and better, etc. But we should really enjoy the process because that's really where most of the joy comes from, whether you think it is like that or not. I think that's the case. For me, I'm very aware that this is the case, okay? I, I derive great joy from being an athlete and living the athlete lifestyle, okay? For me, it's all about getting up in the morning and being like, oh yeah, today we're gonna work on our fitness, work on our goals. Today we're, we have this workout planned. Later we're gonna do rehab or prehab or whatever. We're heading to the gym to do some strength training. Let's see if I can lift a little bit more than I did last week. Let's see if I can run a little bit faster. Or let's see if I could just hit my splits for this workout today. And if I can't, then I, I, I look at my planning, I look at my training, I analyze and I see, well, why can't I hit those splits? What do I need to do in order to do it? And so the joy for me doesn't really necessarily come from hitting the splits, even though that's a bonus, or actually having a P, running a PB in a race or whatever. The joy comes from striving after that. The joy comes from trying to figure out and living the lifestyle that leads to that. That's how it is for me. So I'm process driven, but I am goal oriented as well. Because at the end of the day, what are you going to do with all the medals? And what are you going to do with the the numbers oh I ran this fast I ran this fast um, it's really about the life that you're living now right that's where you're only that's the only place your true joy can come from in the present moment that's all I want to encourage you today look at your goals think about them but then recognize that your joy on a daily basis is probably not coming from the actual goal but it's coming from the process of striving for that goal. And that's something that you can have today. You don't have to wait forever until you run a sub 40 minute 10K or whatever, then you'll be happy. No, you'll be happy as long as you're working on your goals and your dream, that's what makes you happy. And that doesn't mean you should always work, 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 productive, productive, try and reach goals, goals. This also, it's also okay to just kick back and not have any goal at all in certain aspects of life and at certain times, right? We need that too. So balance. Anyway, that's all. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what your goals are and what your life is like and what gives you joy um, in this regard. And I hope you subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. Please just click the button now, subscribe get more videos into your feed like this you can click the little bell button as well to get notified and i look forward to talking with you in the next video all right thanks for watching bye